Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good midnight to all my friends near and far. This is Marilyn, your friendly Filipina carpenter here in America. I hope everybody's doing okay. And um, actually, I have to speak English today's video in today's video because some of my viewers might be you know, English-speaking people, and they couldn't understand Tagalog or Filipino, so I hope you understand. But anyway, um, tonight, I am going to demonstrate to you how to assemble a fruit juicer and how to use it. All right, fruit juicer meaning you have fresh fruits, and then you juice it and then drink, <laughs> you know. Um, so we have, a, we have a machine here that would do that. But um, if you were to ask me if I would prefer to use a fruit juicer or like, you know, just eat uh, the, the fruits that I bought from the market as is, you know, um, I would rather eat the fruits as is compared to using a juicer. You know why? Because there are so many benefits of, you know, using or eating fruits that are not being pressed number one is fruits that are not pressed have fibers you know and what are the medical um, benefits of our fruit fibers number one is it cleanses our digestive system therefore it lowers our cholesterol and then it gives us a good heart in, in return and also um it, yeah, it lowers our cholesterol. That's the only thing I can think of. But, you know, you know, it's a dom dom domino effect. Like it cleanses our digestive system, therefore lowers our cholesterol and then gives us a healthy heart. All right. However, there are some people who are not able to chew their food, hard food especially, you know, um, especially people who are sick. I have a friend who is at his end stage of cancer and his larynx muscles are not working properly anymore. So he couldn't really like swallow. He can chew, but he cannot swallow hard food anymore. So that's where our fruit juicer comes handy. All right, let me introduce to you to the machine that I'm talking about. Hold on. Okay, so this is the main machine of the fruit juicer. So this is where the miracle happens. <laughs> okay, and some of the parts are the following. We have here the... Oh, what do you call this one? This is what you call the basket. So you can see, like it has its really sharp teeth here. And then all you have to do is just, and by the way, this is the strainer. And all you have to do is just attach it to the main machine. But before that, um, we have here another container that would catch all the juice and as you can see it also has its own like um, strainer or not strainer but you know where the juice will flow so we are just going to attach this here like that so this is now fastened and then uh, we will attach the basket inside okay why are you not getting in? Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, guys. I'm back. <laughs> Okay, so it is very imperative imperative that um, first we clean our hands and clean up the um, hardwares of 
the fruit juicer machine because you know what we're going to do here is we are going to um, process fresh fruits meaning they're from the market we don't hit them therefore we um, have to wash them thoroughly so that they will be um, germ free because you know if you go to the market different people touch you know these foods these fruits and we do not know where they came from and you have no idea what germs can do to our body so since we are not cooking this therefore it is very important that we wash our hands we wash the um, hardware of the machine and most of all we also wash the fruit that we are going to press so that's very important reminder for everybody all right moving on we have here the picture and um it has a ready-made cover and i already washed this one and dried it so what we're going to do is we're going to um wait a minute we i guess we don't really have to use the cover but just for you know um, demonstration purposes we'll put it like that and then we just have to put this you know you know this um this is where the water the tube this is where you know the the juice will flow and so we just have to uh, insert this hole in there all right and then after that the next thing that we are going to attach is this one for covering purposes just to be on the safer side where there would be um, no spills as you can see we will be grinding we will be grinding the fruits in here so I'm sure there will be splashes of debris fruit debris etc so we better have it this one covered just so your uh, kitchen will not be splattered with <laughs> so many fruit um, debris okay and last but not the least we have here the presser I call this the presser because uh, it's where it's this is how, um, what do you call this one? This is what would press, you know, um, the fruits that we are going to um, put inside. All right. Okay. Um, hi <laughs> okay so there is an instruction here important instruction that we should always start the motor first prior to inserting fruits or vegetables in the feed chute so therefore we have to look for <laughs> the motor and press it on okay so this is the motor and it is actually on off uh, mode right now but let's see if we can switch it on like that and we are now on a low or softer um speed of our um machine so we will start with the slow first and see what happens and for the meantime I would need to introduce to you um, the different kinds of fruits and vegetable. Okay, fruits and vegetable that we are going to process or to press today. First is 
Đó I have two pieces or three pieces of orange we don't have to worry about the price tag this has already been thoroughly um, cleaned and soaked you know it's very important to soap our hands not only that we just wash it with water even if we wash our hands we wash our hands with water there are still germs that's clinging in there therefore we have to soap it thoroughly and wait for you know soap it for 20 seconds and then before rinse, rinsing um, everything properly. Once we apply soap, we have to rinse it properly so that uh, we won't be eating any detrimental uh, chemicals that I mean chemicals that would be detrimental in our body. Okay, so that and I have here two oranges and I have a celery. Um, I have carrots and a little bit of lime and then what else I have apple ah, I have apple and last but not the least I have ginger you know ginger is very important this is good for people who are coughing you know it would help soothe your um your throat and of course celery is very good and um, oranges is good for vitamin C so now we are going to start and oh by the way I also forgot I plan to include pineapple in there and then um, since uh, most of the ingredients here are vitamin C and they're kind of tangy uh, depending on how it would taste later I would probably need a little bit of, of sugary um, um, sugary tasting ingredient so introducing to you uh, my extra virgin pina colada <laughs> I got this yesterday um, from the restaurant and so if our juice would kind of, would be a little bit tangy or sour, I mean, yeah, sour, tangy. Um, I'm going to add this to just add a little bit of, you know, sweetness in our juice for tonight. So here we come. Let's start now. Remove this one first. And then we will start with um, the heavier, um, heavier fruits, so that it will be the the lighter ones, like the celery and um, other stuffs, would should come at the top of the blender or the juicer okay so I've already all right are you ready let's see if this would work it's actually my first time to be using this one it's not working all right take two so we are going to switch on the uh, motor before
you know i believe that the rind of orange juice of the orange um, is healthy also for the body however um, they tend to be bitter in taste if we will include this you know in the mixture so what we can do is just remove the rind or the skin and then just you know um, pour in the main fruit in the mixture all right so what we can do is uh, cut the apple into several pieces and then um, remove the center part because it's you know where the seeds are and it wouldn't be good if we will be eating the seeds too but although they will just be pressed the apple will just be pressed but you know the seed is kind of bitter also so we can just you know slice it off and um, by the way I want to save all the remaining you know stuffs the remnants of the fruit that we just sliced because I'm going to feed them to the bunnies outside so we don't waste any parts of you know the fruits that we are using so later on um when i switch on the machine it's going to be very noisy so they will these will be you know put in the machine in different orders and last would be our um, pineapple and so here we go The juice guys very healthy now we are going to cut the lemon and um, I think I'm just gonna include the rind or the skin of the lemon because I think this is very healthy I hope it will not make any difference with the taste but um, you know lemons they are very sour so I don't know how this would turn up, but um, yeah, let's see how this, let's see how this would taste later. Okay, let's continue. Lemon is ready.
All right, we are done. So let's try to investigate what happened to the fruits that we just pressed. Look at the result, guys. Ta -da! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to drink this one. Look at that. We are going to mix everything and look at the color. I love it. Okay, let's get a better view of the juice. Um, I think we need to mix it, but this one I believe is the juice of the carrots. And then this one is the remaining juice of, I mean, the juice of the remaining fruits. And look at how messy it is, guys. See, I told you, um, it's better be covered or um, everything will be splattered <laughs> in the kitchen. Look at these yucky pulps, guys. Ew. It's disgusting looking, but you know what? You can actually eat this one. However, I haven't tried doing it yet. So what I will do is I will just pour this in our garden because this is a very good, you know, fertilizer for my flowers at Mania's garden. Mania is actually my beloved kitten that died years back and um, I made a special garden for her where she's buried and so I'm gonna pour this there so her flowers will